Welcome to the Jazz Learn Game Show. Today, our contestants will be taking on three challenging mathematical problems. If you are playing along at home, you can write your answers in the comments below. Let's meet our contestants. Our first contestant's name is Tarzan. Tarzan's favorite things to do include smashing rocks together to see how much noise they make and arm wrestling apes. And just recently, he set the high score on the Who Can Scream the Loudest game show. Our second contestant's name is Ferb. Ferb has worked as an engineer since he was three years old. Some of the things that he has created include a ray gun that changes everything it shot into cheese and a roller coaster that went around the moon and back. Now that we've met our contestants, let's begin with our first problem. Our first problem is known as the Monty Hall problem. Imagine you have three doors. Behind two of the doors, there is nothing. And behind one of the doors, there is a brand new car. You are to pick a door. And if you pick the door with the car behind it, you get to keep the car. Let's say you pick door one. After doing this, you are told that the car is not behind door two. You are then asked, would you like to remain with door one or would you now like to switch to door three? Which option do you choose? Okay, time's up. Let's look at our contestants' answers. Tarzan has chosen to switch to door three. Ferb has decided to stay with door one. Well, the correct answer is to switch to door three, as this doubles your chances of winning the car. This is because when you choose any door, there is a one in three chance that you pick the door with the car behind it. And there is a two in three chance that the car is behind one of the two doors that you did not choose. When another door is open to reveal it does not contain the car, this 2 in 3 chance now becomes the chance of finding the car behind the one remaining closed door that you did not pick. Thus, by switching, you increase your chances of winning the car from 1 in 3 to 2 in 3. This can be intuitively understood if the same game is played with 100 doors. If you are to choose door 1 again, and then 98 doors are open to reveal that the car is not behind them, then it seems like a pretty good idea to switch to the last remaining closed door that you did not initially pick. In this game, by switching, you actually go from a 1% chance of winning to a 99% chance of winning. Since Tarzan got that question correct, he gets pi points. Our next problem is known as the birthday problem. In order to understand this problem, imagine a party that is just about to begin. Now, Imagine individuals arriving to the party and entering the house. The question is, how many individuals can enter the house before the probability of two individuals in the house having the same birthday is greater than 50%? Okay, time's up. Tarzan's answer is tree three. Um, okay. Ferb's answer is 23. Ferb is correct. The answer is 23. In order to figure out why this is, let's go back to the party. With two people in the party, the probability of two people not sharing the same birthday is equal to 364 over 365, as the first person can have their birthday on any day of the year, and the second person can have their birthday on any day in the year except on the day of the first person's birthday. This means that the probability that the two people share the same birthday is 1 minus this, which is 1 over 365. With three people at the party, the probability of no individuals having the same birthday is 365 over 365 times 364 over 365 times 363 over 365 as the third person can have their birthday on any day of the year except the days of the birthdays of the first two people. As a result, there is an approximate 1% chance of two people having the same birthday. As more and more people enter the party, we can continue to use this method to find the probability of two individuals in the party having the same birthday.
Once 23 people have entered the party, the probability of two individuals having the same birthday becomes greater than 50%. Since Ferb won that round, he receives the speed of sound in points. Our last problem is the hotel lights problem. Imagine a hotel with 100 rooms and one light in each room. All the lights are off. Then someone goes through the hotel and flicks every single light switch. A second person then comes through and flicks the light switch in every second room. A third person then comes through and flicks the light switch in every third room. If this continues with the nth person flicking every nth light switch, how many lights will be left on after a hundred people have gone through the hotel? Tarzan's answer is 10. Ferb's answer is also 10. The correct answer is 10, so you are both correct. The reason the answer is 10 is because every room with a square number will have its light left on. As for a light to be left on, it must be flicked an odd number of times, and thus have an odd number of factors, which only square numbers have. In order to understand why this is, let's look at the light in room 4. The number 4 has 3 factors, 1, 2 and 4. This means that room 4's light switch will be flicked by the first person, second person, fourth person and then will not get flicked anymore. Because the light switch was flicked an odd number of times, it is left on. In contrast to this, 6 has 4 factors, 1, 2, 3 and 6. This means that room 6's light switch will be flicked by the first person, second person, third person and sixth person and then will not get flicked anymore. Because the light switch was flicked an even number of times, it is left off. Square numbers are the only numbers with an odd number of factors because they all have one factor that does not have a pair, unlike all other numbers which have a pair for every factor. There are 10 square numbers from 1 to 100, meaning that 10 lights will be left on. Since both contestants gave the correct answer, Tarzan will receive the speed of light in points, and Ferb will receive Avogadro's number in points, meaning that we have a winner, and that winner is Ferb. That's all for the Jazz Learn Game Show. Thank you to our audience and our contestants Tarzan and Ferb, and good night.